doing its job. But we go down and we get an anti-mucus, anti-cough medication and suppress the symptom of the body trying to protect itself and heal itself. Mm. And in relation to cancer you say therefore if, it can't, if that particular cell that is say producing mm -hmm. mucus can't do it, the body yeah. produces more cells to try and do the job. Would you explain that? Absolutely. You see it's interesting and what we're dealing with here is symptoms. The medical community only understands and they're only taught one thing. Attack symptoms. But symptoms are the body's cure of an offense. If you look up the word symptom, it's a Greek root that means a sign or a signal of something else. So if you feel nauseous and you feel like you need to throw up, you should drink some water and stick your finger down your throat and throw up. Makes sense. That's the symptomatic response that there's something else offending it. Instead of doing that, we run down and we buy a drug over the counter, a prescription that will suppress and get rid of the nauseousness but it didn't deal with the something else. So the something else is still there and the autogenic system, the self-healing system of the body says, well gosh, if we can't throw it out the front door, let's run it out the back door. So it opens up sphincters, it creates uh, fluid flow and what we call diarrhea. Diarrhea is again a symptom, meaning a body's cure of the something else. We run down, grab a medication that is anti-diuretic and shut it down. So now the body, there's only four channels of elimination, which is tubes, and that is the digestive alimentary canal, the urinary tract, the lungs, and the skin. So if we shut down nausea medically and suppress it, shut down diarrhea medically and suppress it with powerful toxic poisonous drugs, the body has to take it up to the lungs to try to vaporize it and throw it out. And so as it goes into the lungs, we get a cough, because that's how we cough crap out. Mm. Bad air, bad toxic material. We go down and we buy an anti-cough medication. And we take it and suppress it. So now the body has to push it through the skin. And so we call that eczema. We call it welts and rashes. It's, it's trying to get it out. But we go down and buy a steroid topical cream and suppress it in the skin. Now there's only one other avenue. And that's to build a little room inside the body to contain this viscous, fluidic, toxic plaque that has been developed by what we eat and drink and are doing to ourselves. And it puts it in there. This little room, the medical community calls a tumor. And they get scared with tumors. Because it's a mystery to them. They're not even taught why the body would build such a thing. But it's the body's autogenic self-intelligence keeping you alive and protecting you from your ignorance and yourself. And so it starts to put it in. The more stuff you eat, the more drugs you take, you're adding to it so the tumor grows. It has to. It has to expand to keep containing it. Doctors look at it. They get all nervous. They scare the crap out of you. You run to the hospital. They go in and cut the whole thing out. Next thing you ask in the morning, did you get it all? Yeah, we got it all. We had to take some good flesh too, but that's the cost of war. You know, and so you think, oh, they got it all. Nine months later, you're still drinking soda pop, you're still eating burgers, you're throwing in Kit Kat candy bars and donuts and foodless foods of every kind. There's over 500,000 things that we eat that aren't even food. The body is stressed and has to deal with. And you keep doing it, so nine months later, the body's going, geez, we don't know what happened to that little room. Somehow it just disappeared. And so we better build two or three more as a backup. Nine months later, you're back seeing the doctor. Doc, I thought you said you got it all. Well, we thought we did. It's a mystery. We don't know why this is happening. Disease is a mystery. This time, let's radiate it. Let's burn it out. So you do that, and they go away for 90 days, and the body creates a dozen more. And it amastitizes. It moves in the body. Now it's going to go up into the brain or wherever as a last-ditch effort to protect you and to keep you alive.